Hey, my name is Andrew, and I'm going to show you how to pinch zoom in Cubase 8. All right, so I'll just go ahead and show you. So we zoom in, and then we're zooming out. The reason that this is great is because on a trackpad, you can scroll left and right, you know, up and down, and then also, with that enabled, you can pinch zoom. So you can really navigate through a project, uh, you know, really quickly. Say so I want to zoom in on this right here. Zoom out. Whee! Like that. Um, all right, so how do you set this up? Um, in Cubase, the default key commands for zoom in and zoom out are G and H. So zoom in, we've got, we've got H right here. And then zoom out is set to G. So whatever those are, that's what we're going to assign. Um, there's a free program called Better Touch Tool, and it lets you kind of define different uh, gestures for your trackpad, and it can also work for a magic mouse. Imagine that uh, you could use this to um, kind of interface with a, an iPad app that does gesture control as well. Um, anyway, so over here on the in Better Touch Tool, we've got Cubase 8, and what I've done is you go in here and you click on the plus sign, you add your program, in my case it's Cubase 8, and then right here uh, is where you select, you want the magic mouse, we want this to work for the trackpad, so we're going to select that, come down here, we're going to click the button for add new gesture, it's going to add a line, and then uh, right here under touchpad gesture, we're going to define which one we want, in this case it is pinch in under two finger gestures, we have pinch in, selected, and then over here we're going to define, tell the computer what we want that gesture to do. In this case we want it to just press the H key, um, which in Cubase 8 is zoom in, or really any version of Cubase. Um, you'll notice here that I've got it done multiple times, and the reason is, is if I just go to Cubase and I press the H key one time, it zooms in, but it's just not much of a change. Um, so I felt that it was oops, vertigo. All right, I felt that it was a lot more natural, um, kind of like those native apps like IA Photo or Safari for zooming. If I had it set for multiple times, um, so what I did is you add the gesture, and then after you're done, you select the um, gesture right here, and you just click this little thing that says Attach Additional Action which will add another line, and you can define an additional keyboard shortcut to go along. Um, so in this case, I just keep adding H's. I added four. That felt the most natural to me. Um, so basically, to make it faster, you add more keystrokes. To make it slower, you add less if you want it more, kind of more of a fine-tuned zoom. Um, but, but that's it, basically. After that, uh, you know, you just zoom zoom in, zoom out with your trackpad, and you can go left and right and up and down. Um, I've used this multiple times recently in uh, projects, and it's just much quicker than uh, grabbing the H key um, or whatever key, key command I have to zoom in and zoom out when I'm already navigating, you know, scrolling left and right. Because typically I, I open up an editor, like the key editor in this case, and, you know, say I want to edit this right here. I'm going to zoom into it. I'm going to need to adjust it left and right um, depending on where it is. I might need to go up and down. But all this can be done from the trackpad. So without me having to move my hand, it's just a lot quicker and more natural movement um, for navigation. So that was long-winded. But all right. Cool. Well, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it just took me a little bit to figure it out and I couldn't find uh, an exact tutorial. So I just thought I would make one. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I thought it was really awesome and hope it helps you out.